Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time of seeing my face, you're very welcome to my channel. My name is Oiza and I'm the known. Okay? You're a <laughs> Take two. Channel. Can you stop making me laugh? It's okay. Stop it. Alright. Can you stop it? Can you behave? Okay. Good. If this is your first time of seeing my face, you're very welcome to my channel. My name is Oiza and I'm the Nigerian girl. I'm a lifestyle vlogger based in in Lagos State, Nigeria. I constantly have to remind myself because I've moved. I have my beautiful, amazing, delectable, sweet oh my God. host. Like I'm living in her house, just in case you're wondering. Okay. Her name is Swemi She. Mm -hmm. And she's I, my cousin. Yes, she's mm -hmm. my cousin. And I am an auto broker. Based yes, guys. In the state she Nigeria. sells cars. For the man. If you want to buy cars, screw, screw, call your girl. Yeah, she's guys. your plug, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyways, today we're just here to sit down and just with you, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, just to talk about the Corona drivers that is worrying us right now. If you haven't subscribed, now would be the perfect time to subscribe down below. Okay. Mm -hmm. Join us, make a family with us because we're very entertaining. If yes, I do say are. so myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if the sun goes down on you, you gotta keep that shine on top, yeah. On top, yeah. On top. We did a live video just before filming this one. So if you didn't see, I, I don't think you can see it because it was live. That's the point, live. Mm -hmm. So basically, whilst we were um, live on Instagram, somebody suggested that we film a video talking about life after coronavirus. But I'm not thinking, we're still going through it because the lockdown just commenced in Lagos, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So in Nigeria, generally. So we have a lot to talk about. Like, instead of waiting for it to get over and done with, because we don't even know when it's going to be over and done with, no, we, we may as well just talk about what we're experiencing right now and how it has affected a lot of... Jesus! Affected. <laughs> how it has affected a lot of things right now. So, yeah, basically, that's what we're here to talk about. As Corona. Corona drivers. Now I'm loud. Like Adizzy says. <laughs> Is her name Adizzy? I'm not sure. Adam Okeze, I'm not sure how to pronounce her handle, I probably murdered it, but it's okay. You get the drift. So she calls it Corona Drivers. Oh, and I like drivers. it. It kind of stuck. So how has life been with the Corona Drivers? Exciting. Exciting? To be honest, other than the actual fact that it's a pandemic and we should take it seriously, mm. it's exciting because now all the peoples that had no had your time prior to now now have my time <laughs> yeah so that's exciting for me because now i get to talk to people that i care about and everybody kind of has time to relate to open up to grow learn or learn it's almost like it's almost like the person you saw on Instagram that is different from the person you are seeing here on, on the channel now <laughs> because she has entered the UK. Is it the UK or the America? I don't understand. Well, that is what speak to us so in our elementary level oh where we can I'm understand. I'm speaking elementary. No, like yeah. I find it ex exciting. You have an accent right now, Miss. No. Breathe, 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 breathe. Wait, wait. Give her in. Let's do this. She does not see me all the time. In, in, in. <sighs> out. Okay. Out. 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 In. Out. Wait for me to do the instruction, madam. Okay. In. Out. A lot of you that know me personally would know that I am an extrovert. I would say an ambivert actually because I'm a mixture of both. This thing has made me um, feel some type of way because I like to go out. Then again, I like to sit in, like you you can testify. There are times when you want to go out, and I'm like, That's not true. Yes, now there are times where it's really She think about always it. wants to go out, so long as it's fun and it's a fine guy um, and he's paying the bills. Really? I mean, make sure, but I don't care about what she says, but I know <laughs> who I am. Nobody knows me like myself. This coronavirus has made me contain myself in the sense that usually. I would go out. I would be out. I probably wouldn't be at home at this time. You know, most times I go to work at six. I leave the house at six thirty. Excuse me. I get to work to seven, maybe six forty, six fifty. You know, and then I don't come back home until what time do I usually come home? 
eight, nine. Eight, okay. How many times have I come by eight? It's usually always maybe like to nine, ten. You know. I mean, I come late, so I can't. Yeah, it. like it's so ridiculous. No. I feel like this 2020, we just entered 2022 the wrong door. Like, because <laughs> so much has been happening, so much has happened. Yes. Ah. It has not been a four month yet. No, 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 it's not been a form year yet, mm -hmm. so we're still waiting for all of the goodies. Twenty twenty. So twenty twenty. Where you at? We where you at, you. bro? Where you at? Yup, we were in for you. So like, come turn up for us. It's so crazy because we don't even know how long this is going to last for. No, we don't. I As mean, in, like, and it's to... funny because we started our quarantine on a Thursday last week, mm -hmm. and they're just. Busy. Thursday, no, I think it was, it was Thursday, so we went shopping on Wednesday. Okay, so okay, yeah. Wednesday. No, 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 Okay, yeah. Lagos State Government announced that I did a vlog on that. It's supposed to be on lockdown on Thursday. So, Thursday till now, we have already been adhering and experiencing our own lockdown. Yeah. And now they are officially like from the president. I mean, I have lost track because our government is not so active. Mm -hmm. So sorry, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Why are you sorry? Is it so, so yeah, so we've been on lockdown since last night, 11 p.m. last night. So it's crazy. This like is like officially. second week for us. Mm -hmm. So it's literally three weeks on lockdown, and I hope that's just going to be three weeks. Honestly, like because I mean, how much food do you want to see you have in your house? At some point, you will need to go out. To literally, get we have and things that will boost my immune system. Yes, yeah, so we consuming all that we have. I need yes. tea every morning. She makes double every now and then, so that's what we drink yes, a lot. Yes, very. This one so. is occasionally. Very occasional. <laughs> like today, we literally are sitting in front of the camera. Of the camera. <laughs> camera. Okay. You think you're in your parking lot? I'm so sorry. I'm an auto broker, guys. So like cars are always in my head. So literally sitting in front of the camera. 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 Yes. So we're literally sitting in front of the camera for the third time today. Like third time. Yes. Today. So I mean, you should understand. You can relate in it. Yes, so that's what we're going through and we really hope that this all comes to an end and we can have really good stories after mm -hmm. this, hopefully. Whilst we were on Vivian, um, why do I keep calling her Vivian? Victory. Whilst we were on Victory's um, live Instagram live, we talked about, like, I kind of dropped an exclusive on there and um, I feel like it would only be natural to come and talk about it here because you guys are my people and you probably should know a little bit more about me so basically i um started my youtube channel from a place of depression it was like my road to self-discovery i was going through depression at that point there was so much going on i found out that i was going to have an extra year in school and this was at, at a point where some of my mates were already getting jobs already getting marriage proposals, already doing big things in life. And I felt like Jesus. So whilst everybody's progressing, I'm going to be here, going back to class, looking for lecturers up and down, doing all the hanky panties. Oh God, it was so dramatic. And I kind of somehow felt, because I was in and out of hospitals. I was um, always on shots. I was doing so many things. I kind of somehow dwindled into drug abuse. Now, this is tea because a lot of people deal with this and nobody will come out to say, this is what I'm dealing with. Because of the kind of society we find ourselves in, yeah. people are so judgmental. Okay, mm -hmm. take somebody like me for an example. Mm -hmm. I'm a pastor's daughter. It can never be heard anywhere exactly. that I was ever involved in drug abuse. It can, ne it can never come out. My father must not hear it. That's how it is. That's what society has made us today. And it's sad because a lot of youths 
are struggling with this and nobody can say anything because of fear of being judged i'm here to tell you guys that you can come out of any situation you find yourself okay no situation is ever too bad is ever beyond recovery no situation is ever beyond recovery you can come out of it it takes it's all in the mind yeah it is actually it's all in the mind your mind will keep telling you that oh you're not good enough for this you yeah. can never get out of this it's a lie um, a friend of mine daniel he's a forex trader always tells me that what you do to get out of situations is you kind of trick your mind like you give yourself a false hope and yeah. you tell yourself what you want and you just put yourself in that vision of what you see yeah and you walk through it like he can that's that's his own theory for dealing with depression just give yourself a hope that you want yeah and you live in it yeah so because like, i missed everything up now you just live in that hope that you're yeah. happy because where there is hope there's actually life yeah it's what you hold on to that would you know um motivate you to keep moving mm -hmm. to be honest it was never easy like i mean i've dealt with depression i've come out of it like guys <laughs> we ever see me on the road and believe that i'm the type of person who you would ever think would have considered suicide i've come i've considered committing suicide twice in my whole lifetime like maybe one day if you guys request for it i would sit down and do a story time talking about what i've had to go through my experiences with depression and my suicide attempts if you guys request only if you guys request i would do such a video but like I've had to go through stuff like that and ha I have broken free from it and look at me today. I I'm living my best life if I do say so myself. Yes. So basically we we just we just thought it would be nice to come and sit here and talk to you guys about you know things about that, real life. Issues. You know about real life issues because these things are happening yeah. and people need to know that this thing happens to regular folks like us. True. We're not perfect. What you see on social media is not always what it seems to be never like is. it's packaging yeah never packaging. Is, guys it's always in front say. like it's not easy like for me i didn't battle with depression but it's something similar it was a heartbreak for me <laughs> that's how i found my calling i mean that's how i found <laughs> what it is i'm doing right now so, so men are not entirely scum because they can't lead you to your divine destiny yeah so <laughs> some men aren't scum but most men are scum you can live with that mm -hmm. i mean at least they help you because i didn't want to be left you know the same pathetic so what what, what what was it that drove you to self-discovery what can you say drove you to self-discovery uh, so in my time i was just about finishing nysc yeah. um and i was wondering what is i'll do obviously i wasn't really depending on nyc anyways but i was already kind of into the car sales so when i bought my car yeah. i had friends say, oh how did you buy a car and all of that so um i linked them up but wait how were you able to afford a car oh well i had saved and yeah, I was a student. I've always known this girl to be a ha a hustler. Yeah. Right from when we were growing up, this girl has always been a hustler. <laughs> God. Yes, yeah, so I like to to save. I like to market, and I like to take the lead, like um, help out and mm. get paid for it. So yeah, yeah. so I'm more like a people person. Around 2016, 2017. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is when I started. And I wasn't really, I wasn't fully into it because mm -hmm. I was still serving and I was just kind of in the background trying to get things done. Mm -hmm. And then I met this guy that kind of gingered me and I was excited about it. You keep him. saying gingered me, I'm sorry, I always get weak every time you say gingered me. Yeah, because, um, <laughs> yeah, gingered me in another facet of life. <laughs> like, I, I got interested in another thing about yeah. life entirely. Like, I wanted to trade and I wanted to grow and I thought money could just be made, like, so yes, I was interested and I was trying and then he disappeared. So just it, like that. Yeah, he just went off radar. So it broke me and I didn't want to stay broken and my friend came in the rescue. But well, why do you guys do that? Why do you just ghost in the no, middle of like, it's not cool. Stop anybody. doing that. I keep bad. saying it. Yeah, he ghosted and my friend I just met her while serving uh, for me her name I and yeah she gave me tools she encouraged me she told me what to research about 
and told me how to you know focus on a niche and get mm. people to understand me so yeah that worked for me because then i decided okay well for now this is what i'm doing this everyone is needs a friend like yeah everyone in their needs life. a one thing so yeah so yeah so i i figured it out and i thought yeah i mean people call me for cars so why not mm. she encouraged me and told me i could do this and I started, yes, yeah, so I started making videos, car videos, and I started talking to people, I identified with a car lot, I just kind of rebranded myself, got mm -hmm. my logo, my logo so, done. Sorry, if I were to ask you a question here, yeah, um, what would you say, would you say that you, you have discovered yourself fully? Or you are still discovering yourself? I'm still in the process of discovery. Mm -hmm. This says, reason being that, Nigeria does not really allow for you to express yourself. Basically, oh, it does. Because, I would say it does. I mean, you can in an aspect, yeah. but I mean, you have to be realistic while you're while you're at it, because you have to be money conscious. This is that you calm down. Now. You have to be financially conscious. You have to know what you're getting yourself into, because I mean, the bills never stop. Yeah, they so keep it's coming. One thing out so you have to pay so you have to be very decisive you don't have all the time to try to figure it out yeah. that's why i say nigeria doesn't really allow for you to do that because you don't have the time to mm -hmm. try out every other thing you just really have to like get into it and get it done like you have to do what is already working mm -hmm. you can't really explore so for me i would say i'm still discovering because there are a lot of things i haven't done there are a lot of things i wish to do and there are a lot of things i would you know but like if, if you were to rate yourself over 100 like in self-discovery where would you say you've got i think i'm 60 60. 60 that's yeah. good high five thank you Daddy. you're doing well yes. because it's paying the bill Mr. So Magaroni. <laughs> yes guys so i mean you don't really always have to have it be got out because yeah. life is a process that's the thing that most people don't understand nobody ever actually has it all figured out really like it's a continuous process mm -hmm. like you're growing every day you're learning every day so don't ever beat yourself up if you don't have it all figured you out don't need to. honestly you really do not like, need to like it's, it's crazy but i feel like growth is a is a daily process yeah so you just need to keep at it and you yeah, know, watch things that's go. That's the importance. Keep at it. Wake up, get dressed, show yeah. up. So, in essence, having a great support system is essential in yeah. self-discovery because um, sometimes you would you would grow like you if you, if you're all alone on, on by yourself, you will notice that you're green. But imagine if you now have like a full force behind you pushing you daily motivating you telling you oh do this like this i see you in so 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 and so area in the next couple of years it is motivation yeah i feel that's understand? what that's what a lot of people do not have because it's very important i mean when you're looking in the camera you can't need somebody to be like oh this angle looks good you, get. This. you know a lot of people Even your camera has to collaborate with you and i mean if you don't have it you don't need to look so far you have family you know mm -hmm. fix your relationship there's always family. that one person there's always, somebody that there's always that one you. person who yeah, gets you who, who who encourages yeah. you who motivates you to be Tell who you, you what are to do how to stand yeah. what to say where to go you know the thing the secret about life is life can be actually very easy yeah if we have the right but mentors. we humans complicate it for yeah, ourselves we do. life so, is actually very easy very so with the right mentors and the right people around us Trust me, you'll be making very few mistakes. I mean, yeah. as much as I like experiences, yeah. to be honest, I'm not a fan. As much as I like experience it. or adventure, I think you mean. Well, I would, I would rather go for adventure, but yeah. experiences obviously they make you. Experiences yeah, definitely. Are what make you. So, as much as I like to experience things, I would rather learn from other people's experience. I think I'm the type an of person who learns by experience. Yeah, but that's like the hard way. Right? It is the hard way, but it's actually a better way to experience it because you've experienced it firsthand. Yeah. So you can talk about it. You can, yeah, you know, whether the like, stuff comes again. Obviously, for me, it's not in all things because the things that I really wish I never got to experience because I'm the first. 
And I used to wish that like, I had older ones oh, where I could I ask guess, questions, people to give me it's, stuff. It's mm -hmm. in times like this that I am grateful for my big sister because yeah, she pushes me to do the right thing. She's such a blessing to this she girl. Is. Shout out to Bolanle <laughs> Stephanie Bolanle I call her Bolanla. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you too. You're a wonderful person. God bless you, sister. Amen. Yes. Today has been really exciting because we got to unleash and unlock a lot of secrets that you guys don't know about mm. so if this video was enjoyed if you enjoyed this video please give us a like you know hit the subscribe button drop us a comment down below let us know what you enjoyed about this video and if you like this we would definitely make this into a thing Mish yeah. is planning to um, you know create open a YouTube channel so when she does I'll post a link you know, I share with you guys so you would support her and we will make this an actual thing. We'll film a video at least maybe once or twice a week. We can't promise, but you know, with these corona drivers, we can come up with content for you guys yeah. now that we have time. Mm -hmm. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment and um, we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Until then, you can follow her on at Mish Automobiles. How many Instagram accounts do you have? Yeah, that's that's it. Just follow me okay. on Admish Automobiles. Yes, yeah. she sells cars on Instagram. So Admish mm -hmm. Automobiles and follow your darling girl, the Nigerian girl on Twitter and Nigerian girl on Instagram. And we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Met this girl down by the vine.